Welcome back, Algebra 2. We'll be going over examples 3 and 4 in this video, so feel free to skip ahead um, if you need to only see one example or the other. So let's go ahead and start off with example 3. So in example 3, we're actually multiplying three fractions together. Um, so let's just go ahead and start doing it. So for that first fraction, I don't see anything that I can factor out, so I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite it down here. Ooh, I don't know why my um, pen decided to just do this. Give me a moment. There we go. It looks a lot better. Times, okay, let's focus in on the second fraction right here. Okay, so in the numerator, I see that I have a 3x minus 18. And in my denominator, I see that we have a 6x plus 18. Okay, so in my numerator, I'm going to go ahead and factor out a 3. And that's going to leave me with x minus 6. And in my denominator, I'm going to go ahead and factor out a 6. And that's actually going to leave me with x plus 3. Okay, now let's focus in on this last one. In my numerator, there's nothing left to factor out, so I'm just going to rewrite that as x squared. In my denominator, um, I see that I have 4x plus 12. I can factor out a 4 from that expression, and I'm left with uh, 4x plus 3. Okay, let's go ahead and start seeing what we can reduce slash cancel. So I see that I've got an x plus 3 in my numerator here, so that can go away because I have one down here as well. I also notice that I've got an x squared in my numerator and an x in my denominator, so I'm actually going to um, reduce that, and this ex exponent is going to go away, and this um, x is going gonna, is gonna to get canceled. Okay, and then I see here I've got 3 over 6. Um, that can get reduced as well, so this is going to turn into a 1. This is going to turn into a 2 because 3 over 6 is just another way of saying 1 half. Okay, let's start cleaning this up. So in my numerator, I am going to have 1 over, and I have 4 down here, times 1, x minus 6, all over 2, times x, all over 4, x plus 3. Alrighty, so now that I've gone ahead and done that, I don't see anything else that I can cancel or reduce, so I can just multiply straight across. So let's see, I've got 1 times 1 times x uh, minus 6 times x, so that's going to give me x times x minus 6 in my numerator, and in my denominator, I have 4 times 2 times 4 times x plus 3. So that is going to give me, let's see, 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 2 is going to give me 32, so I have 32 times x plus 3. Okay, and if we really wanted to, we could also um, distribute both of these expressions. So I've got x squared minus 6x over here, and I'm left with 32x plus 96. And we are done. We have simplified it as much as we can. All right, so the last thing would be to state the restriction. So our domain is going to be, oops, all x such that x could never equal 0 because if we substitute in a 0 up here, um, that would make the whole thing undefined. x could never equal negative 3. And x could never equal... Oh, yep, it would actually just be negative 3 because I, I thought this one right here was a minus 3, but it's not... Um, so yeah, x can never be 0, and x can never equal negative 3. And we're done. 